All right, so I wanted to make a little video just to kind of show you what's going on with the saber. Um, I put the glass eye screw on here. I'm going to go ahead and include the other red button screw. I just wasn't very impressed with how I did on the job of assembling it. Um, it wasn't perfect like, <laughs> like what I wanted to, but this is a retention screw. Um, the glass eye is what they call it. It looks nicer, I think. Uh, more accurate to the Force Awakens um, version, which is what I was going for with this saber. Uh, so you got the bunny ears, uh, Graflex pins, the uh, one inch blade holder with LED, you can see it in there. Um, and then these expand out depending on what size blade you have. So when you push the blade in, they'll, they'll widen up, which is nice. So, so you got the clamp card, um, you'll You'll unclamp that guy. And I'll just slide the clamp card out. And then what'll happen is you'll just obviously this screws into two parts. So hold on one second here. Let's see if I can lay this against my leg. <coughs> Let's see it slides out covered my finger up there so it slides out now you'll have this little bundle of wires here this is gonna be your recharge port now what I was telling you with that uh, uh, the wiring harness is that it plugs into the nano biscotti right here and I used I used electrical tape just because I didn't want to glue on this one just for the fact that you know, if you ever want to go back to doing a, uh, like the goth 3D chassis on this, which it looks like he has a, a one inch version coming out for the, the Vader wall blade holder in this, which is nice. Um, you'll be able to switch that easier with, since I didn't glue it in there. Um, so I'm really <laughs> quite happy I did that now, now that I see these coming out with that. Um, granted the goth 3D chassis will not be dual capable. So keep that in mind. As far as I know, anyway, um, I guess I would just be more afraid that they would break. Now, the bottom half, you'll have the pommel that you can unscrew, um, which is nice. I did the Force Awakens slash Empire Strikes Back, just because it gives that more like nitty gritty, um, easy to hold type of feeling to it. So, very cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is a quick disconnect for the battery um, that I kept wired in. That way for shipping or shelf time or anything like that, it kind of serves the same purpose as the kill key for the recharge port here. Um, now it looks like there are a lot of loose wires in here. <laughs> now let me explain that. So we have the two wires on the left that are heat shrinked here. These are going to your switch right here. I left those longer. That way you can obviously easily change those. So those run up along and into this switch, um, which is just gonna be your regular, your regular push button switch here. And then your other two here are going to run up to your LED. And then it goes down into this bundle of wires. Um, these two green ones here are going to be your speaker wires. Um, and I left them green because I ran uh, green wire from the speaker uh, through underneath the board up into here. Um, soldered them together here and then just put some heat shrink on the ends to keep them secure. And then you just have the rest of your wires here. Um, and like I said, I just chose electrical tape on this because I wanted to be able to um, have anybody modify it since there's so many customizations. Um, <laughs> Now for the recharge port, I did under this, under the heat, or under the electrical tape, there is heat shrink on each of the ends to keep them to, so they don't touch and you don't have to worry about breakage or anything like that. So I really wanted to make this video so you didn't open it up and be like, oh my God, what's going on here? This looks horrible. <coughs> um, so when you get it, pull it apart. Plug this connector back in, 
it'll be golden greater or greater rock um, and then also if you do ever have any issues with this setup at all um, I just wanted you to know that I will be happy to service it for you for free um, anytime and like I said I'll answer questions for you too so keep that in mind but I really hope you enjoy this piece. I enjoyed building it. I'm actually looking at ordering another one. Um, just because I enjoyed the build a lot. It was fun. And always a cool piece to have. The other thing too. these uh, The only thing that they didn't mention when you buy the 1 inch Vader Vault. Is that this set screw here had to be shortened. I had to cut that in half and then put it in. So when you pull it out, if you're like, oh, well, that's really short, um, it will be shorter than the one that you're getting from um, Corvanth or whoever you ordered your kit through. So, but if you are looking at uh, getting one built, I would, you know, I would love to do it for you. Um, I won't be using the wiring harness, so <laughs> my next installs aren't going to have the extra, the extra wires and whatnot, so it's going to look a lot more clean um, than what this is, but. It is a lot easier to be able to to pull your wiring harness out and do that, but um, with this you can just tuck everything up into the blade holder because there's a ton of room in there and it keeps everything secure and out of the way. So, um, so even though there's a lot of wires, it's not you know it's not harming anything at all. So, if you have questions or anything, obviously, like I said, or add me on Facebook too, friends. Well, I'm cool with that. So your sable will be shipped out here in just a little bit. Thanks, man.